All right, so this is Chris and Michael. And today we drove over to the Grand Teton National Park, which is just below Yellowstone. It's kind of like a little Yellowstone. Um, so far, it's been really, really nice. It's super pretty, probably about 80 degrees. So it's very, very nice. It's definitely in the afternoon, so it's cooling off. But we are right by, is it Sting Lake or String Lake? String, String Lake. And so we're coming out to a clearing now. So we'll show that. So it's just a nice big lake. But it's super, super pretty. Very calm, very clear water. You can see right into the lake. Oh, there's even some little fishy, little tiny fishy. And so right now, we're just doing kind of a walk hike around the lake and it's really nice. I mean, I'm really excited for Yellowstone after this because I think Yellowstone is going to be like this, but even bigger. But this is like a really nice national park. It's a decent size. It's very open. There's no bugs around so far, at least. What are your thoughts? We like Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, Wyoming gets mostly a thumbs up from us. One thing that Michael was reading is that most of the land is either federally owned or state owned. And there's the lake again. And because of that, the little bit of land that isn't and can actually be commercialized is so expensive. What was the average home cost? Like a million? Uh, 1.6 million. 1.6 million. That's just in Teton County though. Yeah. And so, so the rest we went to the downtown. Was... The downtown was really nice. Jackson. Yeah, Jackson downtown was super nice, but uh, that's a shocking price because most of the country, most of the state, you just drive through and there's mountains and cows and some horses and that's about it. But it's super nice. This, uh, this walk hike is really, really nice and we'll bring you in as we see more cool things. So Michael and I have been hiking for, what do you think? 10 Half minutes. An hour? Yeah, somewhere between, let's say 20 minutes. And uh, we just kind of came to this part. We were following a river the whole time. And now the river goes out into the lake. And it's just amazing how big the lake is. It's super, super pretty. It reminds me, the size of the lake reminds me of uh, Lake Michigan. But it's obviously not as big. There's not waves or anything. But it's just really, really beautiful. And we'll have some pan shots going on um, while we're talking about it. But it's just really nice. This, this hike is super, super nice. Um, like I said, it makes me really excited for Yellowstone. Uh, one thing that was mentioned about this hike is that there are bears. So they do recommend bear spray. Um, we don't have it. Our plan is if we see a bear, I'm dying, Michael's running. I think that's a good plan. So now we're up a little bit higher. We'll show you that lake again. You can't really see it behind the trees, but... And then, yeah, so we, when we were coming in, there was a sign that said there was a big fire. The fire destroyed like a huge part of the forest and then it regrows, right? Which is just a healthy part in the life cycle of a forest. And it's, it's beautiful that that's how God designed it, right? That there's like, well, I actually don't know if that's how God designed it. I don't know if in the garden there were fires. I don't know if there was destruction in that way. Maybe not. But in this world, with sin, there's still like this really beautiful life cycle that God allows. And that's really interesting. So we made it to the falls. It was kind of funny because uh, neither of us were planning on making it to the falls. We kind of just started hiking. We were just going to go see the three different lakes. I thought we were hiking around the lake. Yeah, but we, uh, we were actually... Well, we were super blessed by God, right? God is so loving and so amazing. He actually, um, when we saw that bear that we showed you, we were introduced to this young couple who just got married. So congratulations to them. Um, and we were talking to them and they were like, we are just gonna go see the Hidden Falls. That's what these falls are called, the Hidden Falls. And we're like, well, that's where we're going too. <laughs> so we decided to join them. Um, and we've just been, it's been such a blessing. We've been talking about Jesus with them, uh, about, how unbelievable Jesus is about how 
we don't deserve salvation, but he loves us and he gives us it. Um, so it's just been a really, really enjoyable conversation. Michael, what do you think? The water is very clear. Yeah. The water is super clear. It's super pretty. We'll have some pan shots just to show you as we're talking. But uh, it's just such a, it's such a blessing. It's all God. We weren't planning on finding this unbelievable waterfall. We were planning on going to a couple of lakes. And uh, God just blessed us and wanted to introduce us to some people. So we are so thankful for Jesus. So after following our friends for a little bit longer, we ended up at Inspiration Point, which is kind of like the main lookout of uh, this national park. And it, the sign says it's 7,200 feet above. So it's just got this beautiful view. We'll have some nice pans um, so you guys can see the view, but it's just a really nice hike. It really wasn't strenuous coming up here. It was the, pretty easy. The, the elevation that we actually hiked was probably like a few hundred feet, maybe yeah. like four or 500. Yeah, but again, I mean, What's making me so happy is I just I just love talking about Jesus. I love talking to people who love Jesus. And uh, I love seeing this new married couple who just love Jesus. So we just want to praise God for that and just pray for a happy marriage for them. But uh, they seem really happy and it was it was really, really nice mm -hmm. meeting them. So what do you think of uh, Inspiration Point? Do you feel inspired? Just yeah, I Are think I think it's wonderful that we found this magical hike in the yeah, middle of just and it's wandering. Just, just a single blessing from God. That's what it was because we were not planning on doing it. We ran into a bear and then we turned around and met these very, very nice people. So, so our new friends just left us. They left on the boat to go across the lake. Um, but we just wanted to do a special prayer for them, uh, for their marriage and for their honeymoon um, because we felt so blessed to get to meet them. Uh, and get to talk to them a little bit. And, you know, just talking to people about Jesus is my favorite thing. We love it. Um, and so we, we just felt so blessed to be with them. So, Lord, um, we just want to pray for a blessing over their marriage and a blessing over their honeymoon. Father, it was such a blessing to get to meet them and to get to talk to them about you and how you've worked in all of our lives. Um, Lord, we love you, and we just want them to have an extraordinary marriage that other people see, uh, and it just points them back to you, Lord, that they, they see the way that you work in their marriage, Lord, and they, they see it as a glory to you. So, Father, we just pray this all in your name, and in, just, in your son's name, in the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Yeah, it was just such a blessing to get to meet them, um, and we're really, really happy for them. They, they, were, they were just they got married, I think, on Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah, so they were just brand new married. Um, and we got to go to those two really, really great points. We got to see the waterfall with them, which we wouldn't have gotten to see. And we got to see Inspiration Point, which we wouldn't have gone to go see. Um, we were just going across to the lakes, but God wanted to put his plan in. So we are super grateful and super happy to be used in that way. So two days ago, we spent our day in Grand Teton National Park. And then recently we've been spending our days in Yellowstone National Park. And it's been a couple of days and we're a little bit late on this, but we want to make it a custom. So we're going to do our Bible study and then we'll give our review on Grand Teton. So today we read Mark 9. Now, Michael, what was your favorite part of Mark 9? I would say my favorite part, it's a very small part in the chapter, but it is uh, the section Jesus foretells his death just because his disciples have been following him and they don't understand everything but they really believe in everything he's doing and it's just such an odd thing to be told the first time that they really spoke that jesus is the christ it really dawned on me like the power and the magnitude of like them actually being there and realizing this and so this part kind of accompanies that where it's they this has never happened jesus like nobody mm -hmm. dies and comes and becomes resurrected. This is not a, a concept that is understood at all. Right. So just to read that and to kind of bring myself back into that surprise, how surprised the disciples could be, mm -hmm. uh, was just interesting and, and a yeah. good part of that chapter. Yeah, like Michael said, the concept of dying and coming back was so foreign that Jesus would tell his disciples and they would not understand what he's talking about. So he would say, I'm going to die and be resurrected in three days. And it says in the Bible that they didn't ask him what, they, what that meant because they were afraid to. So even being told that directly, they didn't totally get it because no one had ever done that before. So I think that was a great section. 
My favorite section um, is a little bit different, but my favorite section is when Jesus casts out a demon uh, from a demon-possessed child. And the other disciples have tried to cast it out, but they couldn't. And this man comes up to Jesus and says, um, if you can do anything, please help my son. And Jesus says to him, if I can do anything, you know, you don't, you don't really seem to believe in me if I can do anything. And, uh, and the man says, I do believe, I do believe, but please help my unbelief. And I feel like that's just something I pray almost every day. I mean, if not every day, every other day, because we lose our confidence in God. We forget how big God is. We forget how powerful God is that he can move mountains, that he can, you know, change the weather, that he can do all of these things. And we start to get worried in our own human worries. And so constantly I'll be praying, you know, Lord, thank you for being my God. Thank you for being the unbelievable, unchanging God that you are. Father, please help me in this situation where I'm not believing. And so for me, I just, I just love that section because Jesus hears him say, help my unbelief. And he decides to help the child and cast the demon out. So we both really like this chapter, but now we're going to get onto our review of the Grand Teton National Park. So again, it's just an example of like, how good is God, right? God is so good because we're not prepared at this point. We get there, we want to go on a hike. So we start going on a hike. We don't really know where we're getting going. We just take in the recommendation from the person who gave us the map and we start hiking and uh, we're walking and we see a, I, I'm looking, I'm in front of Michael and I'm looking and I see a bear on the trail, a black bear. And you've seen the video of the black bear. I'm, I'm seeing it. And I'm like, that's a bear. That's a bear. It was a mom and two cubs. And we've, we, at this point, we've seen plenty of signs. Be yeah. prepared. There are bears. Yeah. We People don't have bear us. spray. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, so we know there are bears around and I see the bears and I'm like, Michael, turn around. There's a bear on the trail. And Michael's like, I don't think there's a bear on the trail. And he's looking and I'm like, there's a bear right there. Like they're going to come over the hump. And so Michael sees it. And so we turn around and we start walking back and we end up meeting this extraordinarily kind couple. I don't think they're going to mind me saying their first names, Justin and Bridget. And so we're walking with them and they're, and I'm like, Hey, just so you know, there's a bear up front, like turn around. We should walk back a little bit, let the bear go off the trail. And so, um, we walk back a little bit and we're just talking to them little by little. And we're, we're both trying to get videos of the bear a little bit, which might not be the smartest thing, but it worked out. And, uh, and so after the bear leaves, we just start hiking with them and we're talking with them. And turns out they just got married like a week ago and this is their honeymoon. And they're just super, super happy. And we're talking about all different things, things about the world, things about uh, jobs. And then we start talking about Jesus. And like, I love talking about Jesus. We love talking about Jesus. And so we just start going off on that. And it was just like, we started following them and they bring us to this waterfall called the Hidden Falls, which you guys saw. And then we went to uh, Inspiration Point, which was a beautiful, beautiful view. And so again, it was just a situation where we were not prepared at all. We really did nothing. And God said, you know what? I'm gonna put a bear in your trail and have you meet these wonderful, wonderful people. Um, and so not only did we meet them then, and we had a wonderful time with them and we got to uh, pray and just, just enjoy being with them, but we actually saw them again. We've been in Yellowstone for the past two days um, and we got to see them again. And it was just so great. Um, and we have a funny story about seeing them then, but we'll do that in the Yellowstone video. But you know, it just, it just kind of smacks you over the head with like, we worship a God who loves us so much that he cares about the little things that, that he says, I know you guys didn't prepare for this hike, but I'm going to bless you in it anyway. And he puts a bear in front of our trail so that we meet these wonderful people. So Bridget and Justin, we are so happy for you. We uh, just pray for so many blessings in your marriage and for your honeymoon. And we were super blessed to meet you. So um, I really had a lot of fun in Grand Teton. Grand Teton goes right into Yellowstone. And so if you're right next to Yellowstone, I think the hike we did in Yellowstone today was a little bit better than the one we did in Grand Teton, but I thought the Grand Teton hike was spectacular. So I would say spend one to two days there and then try some things out in Yellowstone. And you can make your own opinion when you see the Yellowstone video as well. One other note, unless you have Verizon or AT&T, you're not going to get service anywhere uh, really in Yellowstone or Grand Teton. So just be aware of that. Um, we have T-Mobile, so we 
basically couldn't talk to anybody. But we both really enjoyed it and we both really enjoyed getting to meet Bridget and Justin. Um, and we're praying for you both and your marriage. So that is our review of the Grand Teton National Park. If you guys enjoy this content, please leave a like on this video. And if you want to see more of the content, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a blessed day.